Honey buns, look. I have to confess, there's something that I have been holding from you for the past couple months, and I don't like to lie to you, but trust that there's there's gonna be a, a very positive res resolution to this, and that is that I've been sneaking into the house every couple times and taking photos with Howard, getting video, taking a look at how the progress is, taking shots of the outside, basically everything. Okay. Just give me a call. Okay, I love you very much. This is gonna be um, trip one of many. We are at the new home development. We're not supposed to be here. This is where our standing shower is gonna be. I'm gonna be standing right here. You know, hopefully when we have more money that we can install our, our dream shower, which is the water coming down from the ceiling. Look, this is gonna be our bedroom right over here. Isn't this beautiful? So I think you're right. I think that we really should put our shelf, or my bookshelf, right here in front. This way we can stick our little shelves there. I think that's a good idea. Okay, let's see. This is not okay. Hopefully the neighbors don't see us. Hi, Rumi's. So I know that this month, is probably going to be really stressful, uh, really crazy with all the moving that we've been doing. But I can tell that it's going to be a really happy month for all of us. I think it's really great that they're moving in together. Paulina came home one day and she's like, I'm going to buy a house. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and um, she was like, yeah, I'm going to talk to Anthony about it. And the next day she comes back, she's like, yeah, me and Anthony are going to buy a house. And, and at first I was like, know what you're getting into but you know thinking about it now they've been together for so long and um, they're really great together and so I think this is the perfect next step for them um, I'm really happy about it I'm really happy for them I think that um, this is a great next step in the relationship I think they've been together for, for a good amount of time um, they're they're both you know I mean they've been together through the, the beat the start of their careers through the I mean, they've been working for a couple of years now. Um, I think it's it's a logical next step. I think it's great that they're also moving nearby, so they won't be too far away. Um, so we'll still be able to hang out and everything. I am very happy for them, and I think it's a very necessary step in terms of the next chapter in their lives. And I think they're both ready. I, I think it's a great step that the both of you guys are taking. Uh, today is August 1st and we are taking a second uh, visit to the new home. We are now in the master bedroom and as you can see it looks pretty good just like downstairs. Everything has been, um, the drywall has been put in, windows are already done, they're covering it, hopefully so they don't have more dust in here. And we're just waiting on the carpets and I'm sure you know the final paint later on. But it looks pretty good. Things are progressing very quickly. And I can't wait to until they, um, you know, paint the walls and put the carpet down. Hopefully, they don't lock the, the garage door so we can keep coming in secretively. Hi, everybody. Today is Thursday, August 23rd, and um, this is our third visit to the house. As you can see right behind me, the house is um, painted all around. And um, one funny thing that we just noticed is that the garage door is now locked, so we can't get in anymore. Dang, I think they found me out. Hi everybody, today is November 11th and we are about to do our final walkthrough. Okay, so we are coming up to the living room. Living room here. And look how beautiful this is. Look at all the beautiful windows and all the natural light that's coming in. Look at this beautiful granite that you picked out. Nice, huh? Now let's just make sure that you take care of it because, you know, I'm not going to know how to do that stuff. We got a beautiful stove and all this jazz over here. Let's see. I'm so excited to move into this new house. Well, I like to think that I'm an optimist, so I would say yes. I did think they were going to last this long. Yeah, I guess. I guess you could say that. Um, the 
time where I really, really thought, you know, this this is more than just a relationship, and um, you know, they're just gonna keep moving forward from here on out was when Anthony came down here to get his masters at UCLA, because he was gone for quite a while, and um, they still stuck through. Um, uh, me personally, I don't know how long you know long distance relationship works out, but um, from what I hear, uh, they don't last. But <laughs> I, apparently, it lasts for them. And after that, it was just like, hey, this is something more. In many ways, I I knew that they were gonna make it out, and just because um, I feel I've seen them in their most extreme moments, um, not just the happy moments. Those are easy. Those are those are the easy moments. I've seen them and when it really push comes to shove and even moments when it was either life or death. And even in those extreme situations, I saw how hard and how dedicated they were to each other. I think the longer they were together, the more the more I kind of in the back of my head kind of hoped that they would stay together, you know, like forever. He could definitely, he has his ways of pushing her buttons, but he also has his ways of making her feel like the luckiest girl in the world. I love you, Paulina. You are a great, one of the greatest things to happen to Anthony. Okay, we're still doing it. Oh. We're at Chrissy Field now. Kiss Paulina. Bye. We're having a great time, right? Yeah. I love this woman right here. Honestly, I didn't know if I, if I, if I, if we were gonna make it this far in and I think that it was partly because of me. I think that most of it has always been uh, me when it, when it came to timing and I was always, wanted to make sure that I never burdened someone else. And I think that when we met and when we started going together, that that changed because I saw that there's someone that was just as open, just as supportive and, and always thinking of that, the other person as well. And I think that that was really what made our relationship work because we both had this, I could say, older sibling syndrome where we were always trying to take care of each other and our family. They're both very, very caring. You know, every time we're in a group setting, Paulina and Anthony are always the ones that take care of everyone. They think of every individual. For some reason, the, the very first couple of times I met him, I started calling him Bill, which stands for brother-in-law. And I usually don't do that. I usually don't let people into the family and kind of use terms like that but for some reason I just I, I called him Bill. It really marks the next chapter um, that you all are building together and luckily that many of us are going to be able to be um, there to witness and I feel like we all see this place that you two are headed and for me I feel like it's a very beautiful place. I, I love you, you both! Happy housewarming! Bye. Bye. Love you. You know, over seven years later, we are purchasing our first home and starting our family together, starting our new life in this beautiful, beautiful house. I just, I'm just so thankful. I'm so blessed. I count my blessings every day. This beautiful woman coming up, that's the one that I'm going to marry. I'm going to marry her. Right now it's Monday, November 19th, and you and Lena are both out shopping for some items for Turkey Day dinner on Thursday. And we're filming in our new home, our beautiful home together. And I just really want to tell you that I love you very much. And I know I've said this time and time again through our relationship, but there's just one really important thing that I wanna ask you. Are you supposed to stand or sit or what's happening? <laughs> Will you marry me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>